The IL-76 project was initiated at the Tashkent Aviation Production Association, which was named after V. Peach Kalov during the Soviet era. This site was equipped with a robust supporting infrastructure, including local suppliers, affiliated research institutes, and comprehensive workforce training systems, as well as extensive facilities for the manufacturing of large aircraft components. Additionally, the site had advanced design and testing resources. The Tashkent plant was able to supervise the entire cycle of aircraft production, from raw metal processing to the final assembly, as a result of this collective capacity. The site rapidly established itself as the primary hub for IL-76 development and manufacture. The manufacture of the IL-76 underwent a fundamental transformation as a result of the Soviet Union's collapse and the significant redrawing of political borders. The production responsibilities were gradually transferred to Russia, particularly to the Aviastar SP facility in Ulyanovsk, which is now a part of PJSC Ilyushin, and Tashkent is no longer the center of activity. Although this transition resulted in the transfer of core technical competencies and production know-how from Tashkent to Ulyanovsk, it also required the factory to undergo a rigorous process of modernization and reorientation, which involved resolving the requirements of new customers and adapting to evolving design standards. The industrial methods employed in the construction of the EL-76 were determined by the standards of the era during the Soviet period. The assembly process was heavily reliant on both manual and semi-automated labor and was concentrated around conventional techniques such as stamping and riveting. The shop floors were highly specialized, with each worker being accountable for a specific segment of the assembly process. Many sequential tests and multi-stage inspections were implemented to ensure quality assurance, which included rigorous testing of avionics systems, engine function, and fuel tank sealing. In contrast, the modern production of IL-76 at Ulyanovsk is characterized by the comprehensive integration of modern manufacturing technologies. Today's workflow is significantly influenced by the integration of digital tools, automation, and robotics, which enable increased output by means of robotic stations, digital replicas of production processes, and quality control enhancements, including the integration of laser measurements and refined riveting and sealing techniques. Modern alloys and structural composites are currently being employed in a selective manner provided that they offer a quantifiable advantage. The introduction of the PS90A 76 engine, an advanced turbofan that enhances fuel efficiency, reduces emissions, and complies with more stringent international environmental regulations, is a critical technical milestone. The avionics and control systems of the aircraft have also undergone a comparable evolution enabling the IL-76 to approach the safety and operational standards of modern global transports. According to Russian sources, the Ulyanovsk Aviastar SP facility is anticipated to deliver seven IL-76 aircraft in the updated IL-76 MD-90A configuration in 2025. The Ministry of Industry and Trade announced its intention to increase the annual production of aircraft to 12 by 2027, with the ultimate goal of reaching 18 per year. This scale-up necessitates a substantial capital investment of approximately 46 billion rubles, which is divided into an initial tranche of approximately 26 billion for the first expansion phase, which will enable the annual production of 10 to 12 aircraft, and an additional 20 billion rubles to facilitate the transition to 18 units per year. Recent plant enhancements have resulted in the acquisition of new equipment, the partial resolution of persistent bottlenecks, and the rationalization of production lines, which is reflected in the current annual output of seven aircraft. Ulyanovsk is also preparing to establish a specialized maintenance, repair, and overhaul center for IL-76 aircraft within its special economic zone. The center is expected to occupy over 11,000 square meters and generate approximately 150 new jobs upon its opening in late 2026. This will guarantee the ongoing support of the fleet in the long term.
Although there is interest from foreign buyers, as affirmed by Russian officials in early 2025, domestic state agencies, including the military, emergency services, and governmental services, remain the primary market for newly constructed aircraft. The modern IL-76 is instantly recognizable due to its wide-bodied fuselage, substantial payload capacity, four engines, and ability to operate from unpaved runways. Nevertheless, the most recent production models offer a variety of enhancements that set them apart from their predecessors. These consist of an increased degree of automated and technologically advanced assembly, partially new materials, more fuel-efficient engines with reduced emissions, and state-of-the-art avionics. The current production cycle has been optimized, in contrast to the Soviet-era production cycle, which was frequently protracted by the demands of preparation, logistics, and exhaustive testing. Eviastar SP has made a concerted effort to enhance its workforce's skills, upgrade factory equipment, and optimize its supply network in order to maintain high-quality standards and increase output. IL-76 production continues to encounter multiple technical, industrial, and financial obstacles, despite visible improvements. Many critical obstacles persist. The production line remains exposed to ongoing sanctions, as approximately 30% of components are import-dependent, and many Soviet-era machine tools and systems have yet to be replaced or entirely modernized. There is a documented 25% shortage of qualified specialists in disciplines that require high precision and digital expertise, as the labor market presents its own reality. It is also imperative to adhere to international certification standards in order to achieve export objectives, which is a time- and resource-intensive endeavor. From a financial standpoint, planned expansions necessitate consistent capital, which increases the likelihood of logistical complications, budget overruns, and delays. The program's economic foundation depends on consistent domestic demand. In light of the limited number of IL-76s that are being exported, it is vital that the state continue to procure them. Access to materials is further complicated by external constraints, such as heightened environmental requirements and international sanctions, which necessitate healthier production methods and increase the necessity of dedicated investments in environmental compliance. The official plans for the future call for a gradual increase in aircraft production, with the goal of transitioning from the current 7 units per year to 12 by 2027, and potentially up to 18 annually in the future. In order to ensure the fleet's complete operational life cycle, it is imperative to concurrently establish a robust maintenance and support infrastructure. Despite the fact that Russia has not yet achieved significant export penetration, there are still aspirations for the IL-76 to be used for a wider variety of civilian and international missions, such as cargo transport, humanitarian relief, and firefighting. This vision will be realized through the establishment of credible after-sales service networks, certification to recognized international aviation standards, and the development of flexible, customer-specific configurations. In turn, it is anticipated that innovations in technology will continue to advance. Future opportunities are plentiful as the expanded application of digital twins, the expanded use of advanced robotics, the greater use of composites and modern alloys, and the integrated laser-based quality control become feasible. These initiatives are designed to reduce the weight of the airframe, reduce costs, and enhance reliability in accordance with environmental objectives. The historical origins of the program, the critical role of Ulyanovsk, and the deep technological continuity that connects the past and present are largely unaltered from the earlier iteration. Nevertheless, certain significant modifications are necessary by 2025. Production is now entirely concentrated in Ulyanovsk, and Tashkent no longer has a function in the process. The current annual production rate is 7 aircraft, with the potential to increase this to 12 and 18. This expansion will be funded by an investment of approximately 46 billion rubles. The primary propelling force is domestic governmental demand, 
as export markets have not yet developed in a significant way. The production focus now places a significantly greater emphasis on adherence to environmental standards, automation, and digitalization than in the past. In summary, the IL-76's ongoing production at Aviastar SP in Ulyanovsk exemplifies a period of transformation and development as it balances technological innovation and tradition. The output in 2025 has reached a plateau of seven aircraft, and there are plans for a gradual expansion and consistent investment in new equipment, workforce training, and supply chain resilience. Key priorities for stakeholders include the meticulous planning of the production and support cycle, the early anticipation of certification hurdles, the alignment with contemporary environmental and international standards, and the close collaboration with technical universities to address personnel shortages. The IL-76, which was initially imagined in Tashkent but was fundamentally reimagined in Ulyanovsk, continues to be a remarkable illustration of the Soviet aviation heritage's successful adaptation to the intricate and demanding realities of modern Russian industry and defense policy. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us